Hello Aquarians and welcome to your video. Also cross watchers, okay? Whoever's here. Um, I had delays trying to make your video and I literally had to smoke the place out and really cleanse everything. So now we're back at it. Alright, so I don't know if you're experiencing any delays. Maybe it's just a me thing. I don't know. It's also, you know, on the inside of the Mercury retrograde here. We're uh, It's going to be through the 23rd, I think. But anyway, we got, a, we got a little bit more time with that. Anyway, guys, before I get into the reading and what I channeled, I want to be the first to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. I want to thank you for being here and I want to thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you. The divine values you. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So I channeled a song by the Arrhythmics and I'll put the song with the description box in the description box below. I'll put it with the lyrics, okay? But what stood out to me, the message is... Um, Everybody's looking for something. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to abuse you. And some of them want to be used by you. Okay? So, I don't know where this reading is going to. Um, like I said, I went to start the reading and I had to smoke everything out and start over. Now everything is just, the smoke has been cleared and I... Uh, we're going to try now. <laughs> so I'm going to say a prayer and then we're going to get right into the reading and see what wants to come out. Our Father in Heaven, I want to thank you for the many blessings that you've given to myself and to everyone who is here. I want to ask for protection for ourselves and our loved ones from uh, protection from harm, illness, evil eye, whatever it is that we need protecting from. And I'd also like to um, ask for those who are suffering right now to be comforted in their time of need and please give me permission to see what I'm allowed to see in this reading so that I can deliver the highest possible messages thank you in Jesus name I pray amen so like I said I don't know what's going to come out I was actually guided to use three tarot decks today for clarifying so I don't know um, when for me when that happens it's because spirit is going to be using some form of charades and imagery I'm going to close out with the Archangel Michael deck but for the for the oracle part of the reading I'm going to open with the chakra and I'm going to open with the I think it's called little creatures and just see what wants to come out so show me what I need to see for this reading for Aquarius if you're a cross watcher dealing with an Aquarius okay the roles can be reversed you decide where you fit, if you fit at all, only take the messages you think might apply to you. Don't, um, if something doesn't fit, don't make it fit. It's just meant for someone else. Just leave it for someone else. All right. I like that. Looks like we got some of the, I think we got this one yesterday, which is interesting. This came apart separate from this over here. So I don't know if that's significant in itself, but it says insight, spiritual teacher, Connect with a spiritual teacher and tap into a higher wisdom. This one did come out too, I believe, because it reminded me of the higher font. So there is something about tapping into a higher source, a higher energy. There is something about learning um, or teaching, okay? Because depending where you are in life, right? We, we all have something to learn. We also all have something to teach. So really, we all embody the higher font on some level because we're always learning, and we're always teaching, okay? Even if it's something that we're not paid to do, it's something that we're really always in an energy of. Um, and let's see what else we have here. And I'm drawn to, you know, the, there's a lot of people here too. We have family healing, trust, and the support of your earth soul family. So I have um, third eye chakra, I have the root chakra. So you have a soul family here, okay, that um, you have aligned with or that you will align with and trust that they're here and that they do have your back no matter what you know no matter what and here we have uh the this is the solar plexus chakra and it's warrior empowerment and it says call on your inner strength and stamina as you establish your place in the world so call on your strength and stamina as you establish who you are or as you evolve to another notch another level right like i said 
um, you might have learned something and now you've mastered that. You could have master numbers in your birthday and you're going on to the next level. You could be also teaching those what you've already mastered. And that can be anything. We have third eye chakra and it's OM. And it says, travel deep within your consciousness and realize your vast potential. So I feel like spirit is trying to guide you on the right path of where you're supposed to be, where you're where you're headed to, who you're becoming, more of, how you're ascending. Just pay attention. Pay attention to things around you. What else do I need to see for the Oracle part of this reading? For Aquarius. Thank you. Support. You have support. Now, yesterday, a card from the Archangel Michael deck came out of, well, it was on the bottom about uh, your spirit team, but you have support here. You have support. Some of you, you know, might feel alone, might feel like it's a lonely journey, but I'll tell you, a lot of the souls who are, and I'm not saying everyone, but there's a lot of awakened souls uh, who are on this journey alone or they feel immensely alone because it's like being in a space that not everybody gets you. It's like being in a space where to connect with someone else like you, it's like to connect with another teacher, to connect with another master at something, right? Because you are here to teach others something that I feel you've already learned or mastered. And because of that, you only have usually one teacher in a classroom, one professor in a classroom. And I feel that it's like that. Um, with the building of, of the school representing Earth, there's a lot of us here to help teach, right, and to awaken. But it feels lonely because you're awakening a lot of people. So you're not going to be always in a room full of awakened people, right, because you're here to awaken. So you're going to be in a room full of unawakened or evolving and transitioning souls right so there's something to be recognized about why you might feel like it's a lonely journey but you're not alone there are other people here doing this okay just like you and you might be aligning with them okay and maybe expanding okay expanding here show me what i need to see for the tarot part of the reading You know, because it's like the song says, everybody's looking for something. A lot of people are looking for the light. A lot of people are looking to be guided to their next step. A lot of people are really looking for for source. But um, what, we're, what we're taught about source or what we believe, it's like there's so much out there. And even I got the message, the download earlier this morning, that it's so hard to discern sometimes the real from the fake. It's so hard to discern. Everything is on the internet, is on the news, and we cannot even believe what we see on the internet. We can't even believe what we see on the news. This is like we have to feel it. We have to really, does it sit with us? Is something missing, you know? Because it's really hard to discern that, and a lot of us are looking for answers, okay? Answers about this life, about our existence, about um, moving, what happens after this world, okay? A lot of us... You know, we understand there's source, there's creator, there's God, but we want to understand more to ourselves. But part of that is getting to know that great knowledge, that great source that we call in the sky, which is really right here within us. It's, it's everywhere. It surrounds everywhere. It's in the space in between. So there's something here. And I see a lot of meditation poses here. And I feel that meditation, yoga sort of those type of practices are going to get somebody in tune here with source, with higher knowledge, higher wisdom. And um, for those of you who have a hard time with, you know, mobility, DDP Yoga, DDP Yoga, he has, he's on uh, YouTube. He has like bed, like people from the bed version of yoga who can now get out um, they're not in the bed anymore, or they're not in the chair. He has all forms of yoga, literally, to help everybody. So anyone who needed that. So I'm starting out here with the King of Pentacles reverse. And literally, as I talk about mobility, 
this talks about instability okay so there's something about this king of pentacles it could be an earth sign that we're talking about but when we think of the energy of the pentacles um and the king of pentacles we're talking about stability we're talking about um perhaps losses in some cases um so let's figure out what this is trying to say here maybe somebody just needs grounding wow Wow, 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 wow. All right, something just touched me. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta stop my camera. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Look, guys, I don't know if you can tell. I, I'm getting over the goosebumps. I gotta put my microphone back on. I am full of goosebumps. I don't know what happened, but I am telling you something. Something literally, as I was looking at that King of Pentacles in the reverse and then in the upright, I literally felt like something took two fingers and did like this on my head. It was very, uh, and there's nothing above me. I thought it was like a spider or something came down from the ceiling. I literally had to go and like um, brush myself off and make sure it is, it's weird. I'm a little bit freaked out right now. I'm not going to lie. I have to splice this video together because I literally stopped the camera. Um, I don't know I'll have to go back maybe there's even something that will come out on that camera like I said I was guided to use three decks here and I was just so amazed when I saw the king of Pentacles reverse and the king of Pentacles upright so strong earth energy all right Taurus Virgo Capricorn and this earth energy talks about stability okay it talks about having everything okay like this one kind of explains it having having their cake their wine their house um the vineyard okay the pets everything having everything but this is not so much this is like some some loss or some stability or thinning out the herd even okay thinning out the herd getting rid of stuff because of having too much I want to clarify that, please. I have to look around. That was the weirdest thing. I am still like, I'm looking around, guys. There's nothing that could have touched me. But it was weird. Before I started the video, when I, well, when I was in the beginning of the video, I was saying pay attention to what's around you because I saw my, my charger cord to the right of me. You can't see it, but it literally moved about a foot. And I was like, okay, maybe just moved. And I didn't pay any mind to it. And now literally, you know, something touched me. And I'm not very easy with this because I like to know what it is. Anyway, King of Pentacles. Strength in reverse, Leo energy. But this, okay, so there is somebody who's not feeling stable. All right. I don't feel that it has to do with income because it's also showing up in the upright. Um because there's a ten of cups here and we have a betrayal and we have this king of cups in reverse which somebody is all right somebody is is not stable someone is um emotional it doesn't seem to be your energy what i have here is earth and leo that's what i have here Let's go on. Maybe we'll find some something else. Something might have got it exposed even. We have the High Priestess reverse. And uh, we got the Nine of Cups below that. But there's something here. Something might have got exposed. Maybe somebody has revealed something um, to somebody. And there's some instability going on or something. Let's, let's go. Oh, wow. Yikes. Maybe somebody has revealed to somebody... Um, who they're in love with or who they are happy with or revealed something to a mother or revealed something to, you know, um, any of the signs that I have uh, mentioned, you know, Leo. And now we have um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have Libra and Taurus, strong Taurus energy as well. Give me another aspect to this, please. eight of cups all right 
somebody's been manifesting something with the Empress with the Yen energy, all right? Could be uh, Virgo, Gemini, but it's also, you might be seeing this somebody when Mercury goes direct because I have Eight of Cups reverse. Now, sometimes it can talk about um, staying in that energy, but I feel there's going to be some forward momentum or some someone has the confidence to come forward. There's something here about that. There's something about somebody being weak. And the strength card can also be lack of confidence as well. Um, and I'm not taking this as karmic. Somebody is returning. I feel somebody's getting the confidence here to return where they didn't have the confidence before. Clarify this for me, please. Again, Queen of Wands. And we have the Three of Swords reversed. Somebody wants to return to heal something with a mother or a Divine Feminine. Most likely it's a Divine Feminine, but I say mother because I know there's a couple of you out there who are wanting to reunite with your uh, children. And if, if it's not mother and it's a father that is reuniting with their children, it, you could be a father who is operating in the yin, the nurturing energy, okay? But for a lot of people, this is a person who is who is returning because they want to marry you they they see you as their person okay because quite often the empress is somebody you want to marry um the empress attracts so this is this is someone who is returning give me one card here being i was guided to use three decks let's do it yeah four of cups Whoever's in this Four of Cups energy, they're doing a lot of thinking. Um, they're not focused or people could look at them and they're just sort of gazing out, you know, like their body's there, but their mind is a thousand miles away. There's something like that going on. And that's a person who's thinking about returning. This is a person who has, uh, hasn't been in your life because they've been learning some spiritual lessons here. And we have Taurus, uh, Cancer, and Capricorn right here. But the Eight of Swords, they are releasing whatever has been in their life. And for some, it's a karmic because now that Queen of Wands is in reverse. But they're releasing also whatever could have kept them from coming toward you, even if it was a lack of confidence. Five of Pentacles reversed. Definitely there's a return. I don't know how people feel about this. But now just keep in mind, it doesn't always mean it's a return of a lover. It can be the return of a person in your life that you miss, that's close to you, that's a relative. That's literal, like, parent-child relationship. Even if someone's just moved away from you and they're, like, returning home, it doesn't mean that they were out because of bad terms, right? But they've gained some awareness. Somebody's gained some awareness here. And so far, I don't see anything Aquarian other than sword energy is healing. Three of swords reverse. But there is um, Pisces energy with that. That awareness card, that, that uh, hangman card. Tell me about that, please. Justice. Somebody now knows what the right thing to do is. All right. Libra energy, Pisces energy. Give me another card. Somebody is aware of what the right thing to do is. I imagine. And that's what is going to bring them into your life. Again. Yeah. The time is right. Or it could happen in Sagittarius season. But this is like uh, a card of timing. And it seems like the time is right. person could also have a lot of Jupiter in their chart. But we have yeah, Justice again. Page of Pentacles, Five of Wands Reverse, and the Nine of Swords Reverse. I feel like somebody has waited for the right time. I feel like somebody has waited for a better time, a less stressful time, or when people were not around time. And someone's come to realization, like, that's just not going to happen. You know, uh, I was waiting for the right time, but it just seems like somebody's like, look, there's never a wrong time to get right with somebody. The time is always right or something about that because before it is about, you know, there was some sort of loss of probably sleep or anxiety about this. Somebody literally didn't know how to say something, get around some people or um, 
didn't want to create some sort of drama, something to do with that. All right. What's the past energy? Six of Wands reverse. Six of Wands reverse. Why is the Six of Wands reverse for the past energy? And it landed on this card, support. Okay, and Six of Pentacles. So maybe somebody wasn't there for you in your time of need, okay? Maybe somebody didn't recognize you as a person who needed anything or vice versa. Like I say, roles can be reversed. The Six of Pentacles is an energy of there are two... There's one chooser, okay, one generous person, and two people who are waiting to receive. But someone didn't get something, okay? Someone didn't get recognition here with that Six of Wands reverse. And this is about timing, something about timing, all right? Something about even money or savings. So if something didn't happen here in the recent past, it has a lot to do with money. Okay, and timing. Maybe somebody was trying to get stable enough to do something, all right, because that does talk about instability. But this instability is around a three of swords. It's around some sort of, you know, sadness with that four of cups, too. Um, someone didn't know what to do. But whatever this is in this past energy, if someone didn't know who to give, who to help, if someone uh, felt it wasn't the right time to give, okay, somebody, it, was, it seems like it went on a feeling. Somebody didn't know or they weren't feeling it. But it does come down a lot to money and maybe there's a Virgo Gemini involved. But it does come, it seems like it comes down to with the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and some sort of stress or anxiety. It seems like there's something about, I couldn't do this because I didn't have enough money, you know? I didn't have enough money. I didn't have enough money for legal fees. I didn't have enough money for uh, for a home. I didn't have enough money. You know, like if somebody was trying to uh, break up with somebody and get their own place. Like I didn't have enough money or I didn't have enough resources. Or, um, or maybe someone didn't even know where they wanted to go. Okay, and there's some sort of clarity with that. I'm feeling weird because I just feel like something's touching me. Okay. Um, give me another card for that Seven of Pentacles. I have too, too many weird things that are happening to me right now. Page of Pentacles, yeah. It's, it's something about not having enough money, okay? Not having enough money or resources to do something. So that also could have led to the whole thing of somebody not having um, enough confidence to do something. So it's almost like I don't want to talk to the car dealership guy because I know my credit score is lower. I don't want to talk to them because I know I don't have enough money for a down payment or something like this. It's like I'm not stable enough to make this move right now. And the past energy, that's what it's saying. Because it's about something that wasn't stable now becomes stable. And because now it's stable, it returns. Because it wasn't stable before. Somebody is aware of what the right thing to do is. And somebody is aware that now is the right time. Who is that? You, them? Don't know. Like I said, I haven't seen literal Aquarius card yet. What crowns this, please? What crowns this? Well, we got this come out sideways. It's about a ten of cups, in which that wanted to come out. And it's about something, the empress. If somebody doesn't say what they want to say to the empress, okay, it's like there's not going to be any progression here. 
someone wants to talk to the empress so it's either a divine masculine or it's a it's a person who wants to talk to uh you know a family member who's nurturing like a, a parent uh, someone in the yin energy or somebody who wants to literally maybe you know for some of you open up go into business with you but it's like if i don't say something it's just never going to happen because aquarius isn't going to say it here i don't see aquarius yet and it's your reading tell me about the ten of cups i see a lot of earth fire and water well i do see air for justice but that's libra and that's that's a uh, doing the right thing five of swords here somebody wants to make up with you make peace with you and any this could be anything anyone guys i know a lot of people go to the lover first but somebody wants to make peace with you because something before wasn't the right time it seems like it has a lot to do with uh, a Capricorn or we have the devil energy here like something was a wish fulfillment but it had to do with the right timing here and maybe a Scorpio or somebody with water in their chart if somebody was inconsistent with you before it has something to do with that they weren't ready and if it was settling down they weren't ready to settle down like this is a person I like to have x y z or z in place before i settle down like i don't want to settle down and i don't have my ducks in a row or i don't want to come back you know i just heard half cocked i don't want to come back like uh let's say somebody wants to come back whole and new and refreshed they don't want to come back like a hot mess you know there's something to that as well give me another oh boy but there's so much clarity going on right now this fell out um there is so much clarity there is so much clarity now it's different when i have the ace of swords and i have the hangman reverse there's so much clarity and if it has something to do with the contract you know these two right here can be signing some legal document doing something a contractual agreement now's the time it's favored or it's going to be coming up to time because like i did see um I did see the magician card want to poke out and that is also mercury which is in retrograde it could be saying um pay attention to the details and it's it's okay the time was right to sign it now or the time is coming up at you know after the after the retrograde tell me about that okay that's a lot and it is something to it's very significant very significant so there's something here about there's something under the surface here okay that you won't see there's something hidden that you can't see okay and that could be very that could be very much like the devil in the details we did see the devil want to come out um we have the hangman here again so the look pay close attention to everything that you're doing that involves um contracts and agreements any kind any kind of agreement or contracts because it's about awareness and in, in something in a contract it's about some sort of awareness and then it's like you have the hermit reverse and then you have this ace of pentacles and then we have this four of pentacles reverse so it's like if you get a place or you make a contract and you have to be in the lease or the term for so many months you can't get out of it prior and then they charge you if you if you leave before the lease is up or um if you get into some sort of contract with a car you know but it's something here significant and it has something to do with strong strong contracts and something hidden okay something hidden there ah okay 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 maybe it has to do with people people okay something to do with people so it's like 
um, sometimes when you go to a place and only you're on the contract, you can't bring other people, you can't sublet, um, or you, or if you buy a house or you buy a car and you have to finish that contract, you can't just sell it while it's in contract or it's not an assumable mortgage or there's something you can't transfer about it. There's something that becomes clear. Pay attention to the fine print. Because it involves money and a payout that you might not be aware of. Because that's what this is saying. Become aware of something. But now, this is a person who wasn't stable enough to come toward you. They didn't have the confidence. They weren't happy with the way things were. Strong suggestion about money. There could be changes here in the financial part for them. And now that they're able, they might be able to then release money to get their own place or do something like that so that they can come towards you or it can also be that. But either way, it's something about stability with money and with a person and a person wasn't stable enough to do something here. But just because of these two cards, I'm saying just be careful about the, the contracts because of the moon. The moon is something that could be hidden, okay? Um, it could be hidden with this Ten of Cups sideways. And it seems like it has something to do with time. So the amount of time spent somewhere. Tell me about the moon. The Empress. So, and it involves the Empress, the Yen energy. And the Five of Wands, okay. So, like I said, for a lot of you, somebody's just really stressed about coming toward you. All right. And maybe somebody's gone through a tower even because there, yeah, there is... Now the moon is revealed here. So if someone external to you is going through or has went through a tower, there's something you're not aware of. Maybe they weren't stable enough to contact you because they wanted to get their own place. They wanted to get settled. They want to be in a certain you know, financial status and then come your way. There's something to do with money, stability, and going toward the empress, okay, and timing. That is what is very consistent here. Tell me, and it's a close connection. Someone's thinking about you. Somebody might be stuck in a situation. Um, somebody might, you know. We got the Seven of Swords and this Queen of Swords reverse it's like somebody and this two of pentacles you know this is like dance this is like walking on eggshells like i really don't want this person to know what i'm doing here in the near future because they will ring me a new one they really will they will just <laughs> mm. <laughs> and moving okay this is for those of you who are moving or overburdened but I feel it's a, you know, there's something here. We also have a divine masculine. Now we have the emperor and we have the empress. We got the emperor and the empress. And just things are happening, okay? Moves and changes are happening to align these two people. All right? Yin and Yang, also a card of Aries. And then we have again, we have the high priestess. We have the death and rebirth. So we have Scorpio, Pisces, and Virgo right here. This is the thing. The moon and this, this right here, there's something like everything is quiet. There's some changes and moves happening secretly. And nobody knows because if somebody finds out, oh boy, oh boy, somebody would be probably thrown in that cauldron if somebody knew about two other people about ready to unite and when i say unite honey take a look at that yeah somebody is going to be livid about that connection all right tell me about this give me a card 
somebody does not want you and another person making up ten of pentacles reverse yeah this person cannot say a word if somebody is moving um if somebody is putting their stuff in another place they cannot tell the other person there's something about that okay and like i said if not everybody it's going to be a lover but it's one heck of a close connection and for a lot of you this is some of you are reuniting someone's coming back around or there's another opportunity i mean i i can't say that it's not someone that you don't know because i i I saw eight of pentacles reverse. I saw five of pentacles reverse. I mean, there is somebody stuck on you. And there is somebody who does not like the fact that somebody is stuck on you. And the fact that if you and this other person come together, it's really going to be a shit storm somewhere. It's not going to be good. Tell me about this. Give me another card. We got, and it might be on the emperor's side, whoever divine masculine is. It could be an Aries, Yang. Could be, we have here, King of Wands reverse. Yeah, somebody doesn't want somebody coming toward you, period. Somebody does not want, a masculine energy coming towards you but this is being guided divinely guided it doesn't show so far that you guys had a relationship or anything like that it just shows that I feel there was really a lack of recognition in the connection But now somebody is just, you know, really wants to reach out here. But there's the seven of wands that's in reverse and the sun card. This is somebody who doesn't want to end up, doesn't want to have to fight everybody just to have to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> it's like somebody wants to talk to you without talking to your entire family. Or it could be vice versa. Like, I just want to talk to you, not everybody else. What's the self-position? There's a lot of thinking about this right now, okay? Three of Pentacles, the Hermit. Chariot reverse, the three of swords reverse. Right now, there's a pause, there's a break. Once somebody gains this clarity and figures it out, we have, like I said, we have we have Virgo here, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Cancer, and we have um, three of swords, which is air energy. Okay, and this is wanting to heal something, but right now, there's a break. Maybe they're healing themselves. Maybe they're doing something here. They're be, they're maybe they're part of some sort of group, and they're and they're healing. They're gaining some clarity. Some let's let's clarify that three of pentacles. Let's see what wants to come out. And yeah, they're going through some sort of transformation. Whoever the masculine is, maybe if somebody had some sort of issues. Um, maybe they like to party a little too much or something, or like we did see the devil in reverse. Hmm. Give me another card. That is Scorpio energy transformation. So there's something that's not completely ready. Somebody is changing probably healing could be healing an addiction going to a counselor, you know like aa or something like that that's just the easy way to say it and not wanting to come back until they're completely stable yeah i got too many cards of drinking here and drinking and a tower okay somebody could have hit rock bottom and in a situation it doesn't have to be drinking but i'm just saying someone could have hit rock bottom trying to get some sort of help 
and like ready for a new beginning here in the future all right I feel like somebody doesn't want to bring all that baggage with them when they come in for a union with you so if you had dealt with somebody that you know of or maybe you don't know that they had this issue maybe this issue is what kept you and them from being together maybe this is why a person was inconsistent in the past okay in the past but now that is going to change you guys got free will this could be anybody this could be anybody you know could have been an alcoholic in the family they want to you know uh, get family oriented now they want to get help it could be any a parent but it could be a lover it doesn't have to be alcoholism it's just easy to use that as an example tell me about the environment we got six of pentacles and we have justice so somebody is here working hard to bring balance and do the right thing libra energy um someone has crystal clear vision who probably wasn't before because whatever something was clouding somebody's judgment and now there's like someone is really awakening their thoughts are getting clearer and it's not hard and this is someone who's really um they're they're like they're becoming either ahead of the curve ahead of the the group or they're progressing really fast and you're going to see them whoever they are if this resonates okay but this person is returning and they seem like they've done the work all right yeah two of pentacles and the reverse and the ten of swords um they made a lot of bad choices because whatever was going on in there you know whatever however they clouded their judgment was clouded because it looks like a, some sort of substance um they made a lot of bad choices and they betrayed a lot of people okay they betrayed a lot of people. Tell me about the five of wands. Or at least they feel like they did. They feel like they let down a lot of people or um, something like that. But I'm telling you, we have Sagittarius, Virgo, and Gemini energy. We also have Mercury or Mercury direct. So something that's going to take there's something that's going to take shape here um someone is definitely healing and returning mm -hmm. love is going to take over somebody's heart and it's really good that this person is healed or healing i don't know the connection between you guys tell me about the hope and the fear the hope is that they awaken for good right that they don't stay unawakened that this sticks this holds this judgment it's pluto it's Scorpio. Give me a card for that judgment. Yeah. <laughs> when this person comes back around, this this could be somebody you had some um, crazy passion for. They also had it for you. This might be somebody you really liked, but something came between. Honestly, in this reading, it looks like some sort of addiction or substance or something that they were putting in their body where they couldn't think clearly. Even if it was medication, but, you know, whatever... They were putting in their body it seems like they weren't thinking very clear their judgment was clouded now they seem to have going through healing whether they're on a different medicine or they just detox in their body but now it's like the hope and fear is does this person just you know want to hook up they want sex or they just passion driven or are they truly awakened so that's what this is about are they truly awakened when they come around this time it does show that like the part of them getting help being in a group or getting some sort of help that does seem like it's absolutely true um that definitely seems true it does seem like a lesson was learned we have the higher font in reverse and for me that can be a lesson learned when it comes to this toxic lifestyle of the devil so i really do feel someone's taking better care of themselves i'm being drawn to the grapes and um then they come forward here so they're some they're whoever it is it's good but i don't know what happened between you guys so i don't want to you know i don't want to trigger anybody i don't want to be like you know take this person back or blah 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 i don't i don't know who they are to you like i said they could be a family they could be 
They could have been a lover. They could have been someone you were married to. I don't know who this person is, but they are they are trying their they do look like they're changing. That's why they don't want to come back. Because they want to come back healed. You're questioning the fact did they really or are they still the same person? You're going to use some very sharp discernment though. Queen of Swords. You're going to know right away if this person, because you're like, if this person is inconsistent with me like the past, if this person does me like the past, if they start playing around, playing with my heart, um, if they, if I text them and then they leave me hanging, you're like, that's it. I'm cutting them off. There's something about that. You're really looking at this person if they're the same as the past, but you really got feelings for this person. You really envisioned you and this person being together. Like it came into your mind. So it looks like the person that you wanted to you wanted in your life, okay? No matter who it is, a lover or, or friend or family member, you envisioned you and this person doing things together, being together, but they were very inconsistent does seem like they've gotten help though legitimately gotten help it does seem that way but they will come in the chariot yin and yang combine forces and come together this person is going to choose you this person is going to choose commitment the high road and they are going to probably leave some people behind and those people are not going to like it and it could cause some friction some chaos some mind games. They're currently ending some cycles right now, but they're clear. They're very clear about you and this connection between you and them. You, however, now here you show up. You're completely unaware. You might have seen this person as uh, not the one for you. Maybe you saw them as manipulative. No communication. You're not going to be, you're not aware of none of this. This is going on. Yep. As I say it, it comes out. You're not aware of any of this, of what they're trying. You're not aware that they're healing and trying to come back to you. That's the pay that's the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. You're unaware. You're unaware that they're going to reach out and communicate to you. This person might have been with somebody. Um, this person is single. This person has cut off what's bad for them. This person has done the work. I don't know if you guys can heal it. That's up to you. That's up to both of you. Can anybody fall off the wagon? Will it stick? Well, I mean, anyone can fall off the wagon. But this person is really trying trying to do the right thing. This person is really trying to come in, be the person that you wanted them to be or needed them to be or manifested them to be. They're trying to be that person. They let go of themselves and they were off their path for a while. They are getting back on path, and because of that, it's bringing them to you. But hey, guys, I don't know what you guys are going to do. It's up to you. Let's get some advice. Ah, oh, this came out in the pre-shuffle, too. This came out in the pre-shuffle. Both of these cards did. Um... Don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear the way to forgiveness so that love can thrive again. So that came out in the pre-shuffle. And embrace your life purpose. I am guiding you toward your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. I had Archangel come out twice. All right, Temperance Angel. And that is the angel that mixes the energies together so that they can happen exactly in the right time. And it says here, all is in perfect timing. This is it. It's time to take action now. I will be here to help you in every way, every step of the way. So that would talk about if there's fear when this person wants to enter your life, because it does seem like there's there. It seems like this person was hurting people and they got help for it. Yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. So that's going to be some of you are going to make a choice. Um, because like I said, you're going to use your discernment. If this person is really healed, if this person is really legit, if this person is going to come in and be consistent, whoever they are in your life. 
and it does look like and when I say it looks like they hurt people I'm not talking physically it looks like they've hurt people emotionally like they've hurt people's feelings they've they've ghosted they've been inconsistent but because they were consistent with their addiction that's what they were consistent with so they weren't consistent really probably with anybody or anything not just you all right now this fell over here on the hierophant and um, the eight of wands and it says put your creative energy into action Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity and help you communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful so that also came out in the pre shuffle create something beautiful so anyway guys I don't know I'm just going to put the reading out there. Somebody is returning and they are returning healed, but you have your free will and you are going to use very good judgment. Okay. You're going to see BS a mile away. So you're going to know if they're healed or not. Anyway, guys, I love you. Thanks for coming into the chat and to the video and namaste, my friends.